Today I'm going to show you how to make chicken curry. I genuinely believe, I think I've perfected the easiest, simplest, most delicious chicken curry you can ever make. Um, obviously it's my take on it, it might not be 100% authentic, but I guarantee you it's lovely. Um, I know people are daunted usually cooking curries because it always seems so cumbersome and involved, but the simplest, easiest tip actually for anything you're making is just to prepare all your ingredients first. Once you've got everything ready, it's a simple, quick, fabulous process. So to start with, you want four chicken breasts. Um, I've cubed the chicken breasts and I like to use a kitchen scissors because it just makes life a lot easier. You can kind of snip away and make nice little cubes. So you've got four of them. Um, you need three tablespoons of canola, cooking oil or vegetable oil. Don't use um, olive oil because it tends to have a, a sort of flavour and you can taste that in the food. So only canola or vegetable. Um, I have half a cup of chicken broth, chicken stock, that's the kind of product I use here. Um, yogurt, you want plain yogurt. Um, I'm going to use a couple of tablespoons of that. I've got two chopped onions which I've just diced up already and I've got one cup of chopped tomatoes. And then here is two jalapenos, six cloves of garlic, and a piece of ginger. And the ginger was about that size, which is, I guess, about an, I don't know, it's about an inch. Um, and then what you do is you put that in the food processor and you can whiz it through. Um, or you can chop it by hand, it's up to you. And then we have the spices. Um, we have a, a teaspoon of turmeric, two teaspoons of cayenne pepper, which is the hot pepper, one teaspoon of cor coriander, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and two teaspoons of cumin. And then for the dry spices, you want two bay leaves, a, I don't know how big that is, a bit of cinnamon, I, about an inch, I, I know that's more, but I just can't break it to be honest, it's too hard. <laughs> and six cloves, and we have six cardamom, which I gave a little bash to kind of pop the seeds out. Um, just so you know also, at the end of this video, I do, will have a link to all these ingredients, so you'll be able to see what happens. So what I'm going to do now is get the um, onions started and then we'll come back in a moment. Okay, so the onions have been sautéed, well, actually the onions, the garlic, the ginger, the jalapenos have been sautéing for about 10 minutes or so. And you can see they've got some colour now and they're getting soft. I'm going to put the spices in. Um, and what I do is I just make a little path in the, in the middle there and just pop everything in. The dried spices and then give them a little stir around. Mix them up and then I'm going to put all of the other spices in and mix those too. Now, just give those a nice stir. And we're just going to cook this for 30 seconds or so. The flavours infused into the onions. And I do warn you, it's because uh, it's all dry spices, you might start coughing because it gets really spicy in here. Oh, but the smell is magnificent. Oh, it makes me long for when we used to live in Pakistan. Okay. And then we're going to add our chicken. And basically just pop that in. And we're going to give that a good stir around. And we're just going to cook this for five minutes or so. Basically we just want the chicken to get a nice little colour on it. It doesn't have to be, we're not going to cook it through because it's going to cook in the sauce later. But we're just going to let it cook down a little bit and get some colour. And we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so you can see I've got this nicely blended As is, we're not cooking the chicken so it's all just nice and um, mushed and infused with all the flavours, it's scrumptious so what we want to do now is we're going to add the tomatoes so just add those and we're also going to add the chicken stock and give that a mix around mmm this is good. It's really funny because when we were, um, we lived in Lahore for five and a half years and uh, when we were there, even though I absolutely adored all the fabulous food over there, you crave Western food because obviously you don't have it. And then as soon as we moved back to America, all I wanted to eat was curries. And that's how I ended up learning to cook this because it was just I was so desperate for like good, proper, authentic, yummy Indian food that was cooked in a kind of a little more of a healthier way. So the last thing I like to do is just, I'm just going to add a couple of tablespoons of yoghurt. And I give that a good mix as well. Yum, yum, yum. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to turn the heat down a little bit. So it's on like kind of like a slow sort of simmering. And we're going to leave this to cook for about 20, 30 minutes. 
and then we're going to come back and check on it. And at that point, it's very important, we have to taste, taste it and check on the seasoning and see if it needs anything more. Ta-da! Alright, so it's been about 40 minutes and I've just taken the, the uh, curry off the stove and as you can see, it's looking rather lovely. A um, couple of little tips for you, um, when you taste the curry, which I would say after about 20-30 minutes, have a little taste, if it's too spicy, add more yoghurt, that will help to cool it down. And obviously, if it's not spicy enough, put some more spice in. Now there is one little pain in the ass about this dish that I didn't mention, um, which I like to do, and that is I remove all the spices before I serve it. And that's just something that I just prefer. I can't think of anything worse than um, getting a you know, mouthful of clove or a bay leaf or something. So I just go through and I count up how many I put in and I try and get that many out. So this is going to take me a few minutes. I'm going to do that and then we'll plate up and you can taste it. Oh, I can taste it, I mean. Okay, just something to remember. Um, don't forget at the end of the video and all my videos, there will be a link to the recipe and all the ingredients. So don't feel like you've got to jot them all down right now. And uh, very important, make sure you taste your food before you serve it and season it. And Hopefully it'll be delicious as mine is. So here we go. We've got lovely chicken curry, dal and rice, basmati rice. Beautiful all together. Makes a really nice meal. Um, there's also uh, naan bread you can get at the grocery shop now, which is really simple. Um, you just pop, I put mine in the toaster. Just slice it down the middle. Either side of your toaster, but you know, on a not too hot heat, and you get perfect hot naan bread. Um, the other way you can do is pita bread. It's not quite as nice, but that's obviously if you're in a hurry. Um, and if actually, if you go to the Indian shop, a lot of the times they'll actually let you buy naan bread from them already cooked. And we just bring that home sometimes and then just freeze the leftovers, which is handy. But now I have to taste a little bit of my delicious dinner. Mmm. It's lovely. It's just so... It's got the right amount of spice, it's got all that lovely garlic and all the her uh, spices, you can kind of taste it coming through, it's delicious. Mmm. Just make sure you're kissing someone later who's had it too, because you can have a lot of garlic. Lots of love. Enjoy.